Okay, Diana. Um, just it that the card is going to Okay. Okay. Great. Please remember. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. Let's see what else I've got here? Is there anything? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Copy you, Matt? Sure. Thanks for doing this, Bruce. Okay. Now do I need to snap? Okay, so now I need to send out the YouTube link. Mm -hmm. to Which I sent to you, to everybody. Forward. Now, that should be the same as the one I sent before, right? To everybody? 
right? I sent one to everybody originally. Mm -hmm. What did you mean with the first one? Oh, yeah. Jimmy, I saw something, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Your Google Hangout time. Is that, let's see what that says. That's everybody, 34 people. Oh. That's everybody, but including us. Including what? Oh, the people yeah. here? Mm -hmm. um, don't you have something that you sent out to everybody who was going to be on the Google Hangouts? Who are the 34 more? Click on it. Let's see who's in there. Okay. Well, where do you do that? Yes. Where, where it says N34 more, click on it. Oh, the, oh okay. yeah. I doesn't show up, but I'll push reply out. I don't know. Reply out. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, Jerry, okay. yeah, so these are all people who are not here. Oh, okay. Yeah, this oh, is, oh, that's oh, the this record. Is the record. Yeah, okay, so, great. So, this is going to be called Google, uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. Google Hangout. Right? Mm -hmm. Google Hangout. So you don't have that template that I sent you anymore for that letter. For the four letters. For oh. this letter that uh, goes yes, on there. Okay. okay. If not maybe I can find it, but it doesn't matter because we can. Now we can here, just I make up was, something. It was probably this one. Oh yeah, good. Okay, yeah. That's really it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. So. Okay. Great. Perfect. Copy. Okay, so now. Uh -huh. But we talked it through on the phone. We're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have two questions for you. Um, the first is, did um, did Idaho ever come through? They did not come back. They said so, no. So, sorry, let yeah. me just finish. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Here, okay. If you don't mind. Well, okay. We'll okay. okay. I think we're, we're fine. I just okay. want to ask you about that. Yeah. Should I contact them? Is there anything no. I can do? Did they say Yes, Barbara. Why? You know, I was okay. surprised because I told her that you said they it was great. It. I know. They Maybe it was about it. money or something. Okay. Just ask Barbara. Check okay. in with her. Okay. okay. So is okay. the YouTube link the same for both times this afternoon? Say it again. Or YouTube is is, is the same, the same for link for both. For, Here's the yeah. link for today. Okay. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. it yet? Oh, is that what I just copied? No, I don't have it yet, right? You're going to give it to me. No, I just sent it to you. Oh, you I just. And okay. you copied it before. But I don't know oh, I think I copied something else. Right. Okay. So go back and recopy it. Oh yeah, you said. Okay, live on YouTube from two to four. And that stays on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so check this before. Even when you are not participating in the Google Hangout, you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. On YouTube. I've got that, I've got that down below. 
Ah, okay, we're taking it here. Just to the Okay, perfect. Today's. Okay, all right. Okay, is that it? All right, today? yeah, that's it. Oh, Kaliswa, what she have to say? Unfortunately, the career plan has changed. Okay, huh. so I'm going to go take her off. Okay. What time was she supposed to be? On the early one or the later one? Wait. Well, she's ready first. On the later one? Okay. So now. Maybe just write her back and say, you want to go to class with Sunday. Pardon? Maybe write her back and ask her if she wants to switch to Sunday. Yes, Pookie and I both shared what's going on with you, with the group yesterday, period. I will look into covering those dates shortly. So we're going to use my computer for this, or yours? For what? You're going to show everything on your computer. Yeah. So I'm done. Yeah. <laughs>
for today. Well, you took the video. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yes. But you're going to I don't know who's there. Oh, maybe one viewer. Maybe that means from. Um, That's you. You. Um, oh no, maybe somebody's watching it on Google. Hello, it's me and Pooks here. <laughs> hey, can we not see them? No, because yes. they're watching on they're watching on the. Um, on Google. Oh, and we can't see on YouTube. Them. I mean, on YouTube, right? right. That's yeah, what I yeah. understood. Okay, well, okay. Um, glad you're here. And another six seven minutes, minutes to go. Oh, <laughs> six or seven minutes. To All go. right, that viewer left. Oh, <laughs> but they were just trying it out. Yeah, that's good. Some of the so so really, oh yeah, I need to be. Do I need to be up here first? No, no. I'm going to start. No, so and then after I'll just think I'll hand it off to you. Okay. So I'll take this back and present it to the audience. Okay. Shoot. 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 Whoever our one viewer is, they're back. Um, yay! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yay, one viewer! <laughs> you, right. that means who? That means, that means that's us, I guess. That's us. Okay. Okay. See you in a little while. Let's see. I wonder who that would be. Someone who's in What's that? So what could happen is... Oh, do you want me to say that one? Maybe you might want to say... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She is not. Oh. I don't know. Do you want any of these? I brought a bunch of pictures that I have doubles of. Do you want to look? And if you have any, if you'd like any, just take them. Mm. Okay, take care of it. Oh, well, I like them all. Yeah, we well, can have them. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, that's great. So, I don't have fire. The baby. Oh, oh, yeah, and then she had the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ask Newton if you I do the first one I've asked. Okay. Do you want me to offer? I think there's duplicates of those. So. Um, there's two, well, they're different. But oh, they're different. Okay. Yeah, well, let's see if we can. What is this? <laughs> Another dress up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was you and Karen. 
<laughs> that was in the book. This was in your book too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is a doctor. Okay. Oh, yeah, give it to them. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yay! Oh, there she is. Yay. Yay. Oh, 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 I miss you guys. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you are um, you're hi, the first Dina. one up. Hey, hi, hi Dina. Hey, Dina. <laughs> I think this is how we met, isn't it? <laughs> that is how we met, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, you're not here. I really miss you. I know. I miss being there. I really. I've been doing the shows, and I'm like, oh, I want to go to retreat. Well, I wish you could have been here to receive your Academy Award. <laughs> sure. I got a video of it from Emily, so I'm very happy. Excellent. Excellent. Good Good to see you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, hey, boo. Hey, How are you? This is so fun. I miss you guys. We miss you too, but we're, we're, we're not happy you're not here. We're happy for you, but we wish you were here. Next year. Tina Mina. Chris. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Where are you? Great. Are you home? Thank you. No. I know. I'm in, um, um, oh, we have another one. Hello. Oh, what's that? This is the best thing ever. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? I'm going to text Jen because she said hers isn't working. So let me just get out of this for one second and I'll be right back. Okay. You're going to text Jen. I'm still here. here. No, Jen Scott. Uh, oh, I'm like, just... Jen Seabrook over here. We can... <laughs> Fran. Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey. Dina. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Come here. Yeah, come here already. I know. I really miss you guys. This sucks. That's all right. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> Just so that um, you don't block the projector. Oh. Wow. I thought we were. I thought our time was up. <laughs> I, I need her to other people. people can talk, talk to you. Okay. okay, I'm trying to convince Jen to come over to my house so that she can join because hers is just not working. Can you turn it? Can you turn it? Can you turn it? Ooh, what a fancy room! <laughs> Where's Kunkel? Bronco. Oh, I think she's late. That is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna see you on Friday. What's up? But I'm not you, Dina. I'm sorry. I know that's see. okay. I know I've never met you, Dina, but you seem very nice. I do too. <laughs> I'm not He's wearing, not wearing a, bra. a bra. Are you Come wearing on. any panties? Yes. <laughs> oh my boo boo! Hi, baby girl. I miss you. I miss you too. I love you. You almost wedding girl. You almost bride to be. Quit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um great. All right, I'm gonna go. Sit down. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Ooh. Dina, I miss you, girl. I miss you so much. <laughs> Dina, I just did a Jillian Yoga Inferno and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yoga Inferno? Have you ever done that? <laughs> but it sounds like I she's consistently angry. She needs to come. 
sweat was dripping onto the yoga mat. It was so hard. That's what I call a wedding workout. Do it with me. Megan, oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, hey, Jules, were you able to work it out with Jen? Yes, she's on her way over. Okay. Oh, she's coming to your house? She's coming to my house. She lives five miles away. <laughs> she just moved. It's awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> um, okay. Well, the technology. I know. Very cool, isn't it? All right. So let's um, let's commence. Um, I'm be doing it. Okay. So that's the Google Hoops, can I get started? All right, we're almost ready. <laughs> so, okay, great. Welcome to um, Oral History Session Part 1. And um, this would be sprang from an idea that JW had about, which I don't really remember, but uh, that um, it would be great to get people to the wall down in one place. And then, uh, <laughs> 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 Water and cookie really helped in refining this idea. So this is the way it's going to work. We're all going to get up to three minutes, and people on the Hangout will get the same amount of time to share a memory, a story, something about your tour or a retreat or being on Playfair, just something so we can have kind of an aggregate of a lot of people's memories of it. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the first one and show you what it might look like. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. I, the first school that I had a really long relationship with was Bowling Green University in Ohio. They were the first school to do play for 20 years in a row. And um, we used to do it on this big, giant soccer field. There was a couple of thousand students. It was the biggest show at that time that we did. And it was right across the street from a cemetery. So in the middle of the show one time, um, a police officer walked up on stage with me, and he said, you know, there's a funeral across the way. Um, I really would appreciate it if you keep it down. And I was like, gee, I don't really think that's going to be possible, but let me see what we can do. And this was, I was about three quarters of the way through the show, so we'd already done, you know, back-to-back -back dancing, we'd done standing ovation. So I said to the group, okay, the officer here wants us to know that there's a funeral going on across the way, and he'd really appreciate it if we could do our best to keep the... Uh, the noise level down and be respectful. And immediately one of the students jumped up and said, Let's give the corpse a standing ovation. And thousands of people just went up, turned to the thing, and just started going like that. And I was like totally mortified. But actually, <laughs> when I later thought about it, I thought, you know, what a way to go. <laughs> what a fantastic thing at your funeral. 2,000 strangers swimming for you. So um, he just threw up his hands and left. And <laughs> 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 some good audience reaction there. Okay, then I want to tell you actually more one more recent one. Um, last year, uh, there was a school that Takara had done, Ohio Wesleyan, and they requested her back, but just because of scheduling, I couldn't send her back there. And in fact, um, I was the only one who could cover the date. And it was kind of near Xavier, which is the one school that I always do. And so um, Linda calls me up and says, um, Matt, I want to tell you, I talked to a high resident, 
and they are really disappointed <laughs> that Takara is not coming back. And I said, well, you know, did you give him the spiel? She said, oh, yeah, the founder is coming. This is an honor. He hardly does any dates. And I said, and what they said? They said they're really disappointed <laughs> that Takara is not coming back. So, okay, great. So I got a slight briefing from Takara, and I went there. And they, were gonna, they moved it from the outdoors to indoors because the, the weather looked bad. And there was like a flash flood. You have never seen anything like some of the kids came in like completely like dripping, but most of them were afraid to leave their dorm rooms. So we had to do like a half an hour football line just as people dribbled in and one person would run through the line and like five minutes later somebody else would come through the line. It was a really tough show. I was like sweating. But at the end, I got the greatest compliment I ever got. The dean came up to me and she said, you're as good as Takara. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Thank God Takara's going back there this year. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, that was three minutes, and Vicky gave me a one-minute warning. So you don't have to use all three, but get in as much as you can. And uh, Miles, unfortunately, has to leave the retreat early, so we asked him to be the next one up. Okay. Yeah, come on up here and actually... I have someone who just came to my house. And, uh, and the so that. Hello. Uh, yeah. How are you? It's on my phone. Oh, yeah, you were trying on your computer. I was computer? my computer. Um, yes. So you just missed Miles' story, but or no, you missed Matt's story, and now Miles is about to go. Yeah. Someone just suggested <gasps> you guys might want to might want to mute your thing unless you want to say something. <laughs> 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 Do you want some water? Uh, I don't. Say again. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Um, is it recording? Yes. Okay. Sorry. All right. Um, you know, um, I was trying to think of uh, some memories or something that I could could share with you, and because there's been so many over all the years, and I was thinking about, you know, early on the huge shows at. Uh, Vanderbilt and, and Syracuse with 5,000 people screaming at them and just being wild and the energy of traveling. Um, but then I, I kind of, one memory kind of stood out, which is a series of memories. And so I'd like you to help me with it by having everybody who I've trained just stand up for me. Everybody who I've trained stand up. This is one of the best memories I've had in play. You guys represent that. And I just want to take a moment to, to let you know that. I wanted to just thank you for blessing me with your presence in my home, for enjoying my cooking. <laughs> for, uh, for, uh, you know, tolerating my training techniques. Um, for loving me unconditionally, for accepting my shortcomings, and uh, for creating just a, a, a memory I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. It's been, it's really been great, and uh, I want to thank you. It's, it's been a blast. That's, that's my memory. <laughs> Um, so what I want to do is do like a, a little uh, visual representation of that. So let's just start going around this way, and I want people who Miles has trained just real laser like and briefly to give them a little appreciation, and then come up and we'll form like a big group of us here, kind of connected to my house, and then there's just one last piece that Miles wants to do. So yeah, let's just start start with you, Chris. Um, I and this is a little story about. I was amazed at your cooking. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, because I wasn't expecting much, because I heard about it. Oh, yeah, well, I'll still be like, okay, I don't know, my job. This is a big I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> but no, like, your cooking was so delicious, wild. Like, I, I, that's one of my 
<laughs> Newton, would you actually um, flip the thing around so we can capture some of these sharings on uh, as they're speaking too? Okay, so then Chris, come on and, and join us behind here. Actually, no, we just if they share right next to you guys, I can also take a picture of you guys together. Oh, and you don't have to turn that. Okay, so why isn't the person sharing? Come on up here then. So, Lane, come on up here, actually. All right, ladies, it's a production. <laughs> All right, we'll make sure it gets right. Um, Miles, you were the perfect combination of mother hen and hard ass. <laughs> and it was this, the simultaneous uh, these sides of you that came out that I felt welcomed, I felt at home, I felt um, joyful and so taken care of. I had just gotten off a flight from Switzerland and you provided this huge, wonderful meal for me and were so taken care of. And then also when it came down to doing the show, you whipped us into shape and I felt so confident as a result afterwards. And I'm really grateful. So thank you. Um, you know what? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Miles, I love doing training feeling like. Oh my god. Uh, is this fun? <laughs> feeling <laughs> like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> come, come over here. Come over here. <laughs> feeling like you came in with a plan and you were willing to change when you saw the, what Dean and I needed. When we said we need to be outside, you were like, hmm. Outside, and when I was like, I think I need your dog next to me all at all times. <laughs> like, cool, that's fine. Uh, so thank you for being flexible. I still call him. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I'm on camera. Yes. Ah, uh, so I would just say for you and like the training. Like, what I really appreciated was your honesty. Um, you know, we all came in, at least in my group, we all came in kind of different levels. Uh, and we all were trying to work through this thing. And, and you just being real about, like, hey, we better we need to work tonight. You guys need to do this together. And just the, the, the honesty about the group and the individuals who were there and, like, how we all could work together as a team was something I really appreciated as far as, like, how you decided to work with us and train us. Um, also go along with Chris's book too, because I'm a foodie. Uh, you've always had the bagels, the lox, the cream cheese, and the onions. I remember you went and got like salmon one time and was like, hey, I need that there. He wants this in the morning. Bam. And like it was there. So like I just really appreciate fostering that that very family open relationship and letting us like be there in the house. So Say hi. Hi, Jen Scott. <laughs> um, I felt prepared going into the most daunting project I've ever done. It's 40 pages. And I felt prepared because you took us through that preparation. And I remember at the University of the Pacific or College of the Pacific, our first one, mm -hmm. and Gil was like, oh, I'm going to throw up. And, you know, <laughs> and I was like, I'm right behind him. I'm going to have like, that scene from Stand By Me where everybody's laughing. <laughs> That's what I felt. And you looked at the two of us, and you said, just have a good time. Like, this is what it's about. Just have a good time. And I think, I, I mean, I'm back. It's been eight years, and I thought I'd last for three. I'm sitting there trying to remember something specific. Um, I think for me, what I remember the most about the retreat, it was my, I mean, the training. My first introduction to Clay Bear, period. It's like, what is this crazy thing? And I remember feeling really, Colin said it best, you were a combination of like hard ass and hard ass at the same time. <laughs> and I really felt that, and I, I felt like you gave us space when we would wake up super early to work on the script, you would kind of made us have a feeling like we need to see discipline on top of things. But I also felt like there was a nice group of food. 
Just your love and integrity. So I appreciate Thank you. Let's actually just have somebody on the end. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm great. I, uh, <laughs> I remember coming in, uh, we were Jorn, and. Woo, we were terrible. Man, I mean, thank you so much for your patience with us. Um, I came in much like Keisha said, I was absolutely terrified because I was like, I'm an actor, I should be able to remember a script, but it was daunting. And you, you, I mean, you were so patient and you really, you made me feel like, when I got to a point where I was like, actually, I don't know that I can do this, I guess I'm not cut out for this, you made me feel like you are absolutely cut out for this. This is totally in your real house, you got this. And I, and, <laughs> and I never would have if it wasn't. So thank you so much, and thank you for that food. Chris was right. You you are you are gifted in that. So you know, I mean, I know that we keep laughing and you know, kind of making a joke out of the, the food, but there is a gift there too. So I hope that you uh, follow that gift in you at some point to to, to the point where it leads you to be as fulfilled as Playbear has me as, as has fulfilled me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, uh, let's go well, seriously. Um, to start off, like thank you for uh, opening up your home to all of us. I mean, I barely like somebody to come stay at my house for two days. <laughs> <laughs> After about two days, you're like, okay, bro. <laughs> you know, but uh, I appreciate you opening up your home. And that means a lot to me, and uh, like you're still welcoming, welcoming, like kind of like Mikasa Sukasa. That's how you, you had it. Um, and even though we bumped heads a lot of times, uh, you know, it really did prepare me for going out on the road, like you know how hard you made it, and um, I was prepared to handle anything. After that, so you know, before Alex comes up, why don't one of you three at home unmute and um, participate with us in this too? So why doesn't somebody, one of you three, just unmute yourself and talk to me? <laughs> okay, sorry, figuring it out. Hello. Uh, hi. Should we do a joint one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just want to say, you know, thank you so much for uh, being so welcoming and having us in your home and just being, you know, really like whatever you needed, you were there to help us work on it with our show. Like if I needed to put in a little more energy and a little more fun, like it wasn't just like, oh, you can get through, you know, memorizing the script. <laughs> it was like, here's how to make your show really successful. So thank you for that. And of course, thank you for the food. I still think about like, the delicious, delicious meals that you would make. <laughs> and um, I just really remember, because I was alone. Like, I, you trained me by myself, so I didn't have anybody else with me, I remember. And I was petrified when, I, when we did that first show, um, the test show at the community college or wherever we did it. And, but it was, it was such like, an amazing experience. And then I also remember meeting your family, which was really awesome. Like, I got to meet your sister, I think. And um, anyway. It, yeah, your yeah. kids are so cool. I and your kids, yeah. yeah. So, thank you, Miles. Thanks. <laughs> okay. What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, uh, you know, I have very fond memories of spending time with the uh, human uh, Berkeley. Um, I remember you taking us around in your a pickup and it just felt like this gang was going out. <laughs> <laughs> me, Lakeisha, Kaliswa, and um, that's it. Yes. <laughs> but uh, and um, and I really just remember us going to these schools to do this really really weird thing and how how cool it, it, it was being with you. I, I I really mean this like not just play for you, very interesting. 
I remember talking to you about music and talking to you about your father and you know, everything that all the political movements and stuff like that that he was a part of. And you know, um, I actually, you know, I think about like the Bay Area very romantically in terms of like, you know, a place where all these revolutions, these different possibilities of, of, of life counter to like, you know, I guess the general American condition type of way, you kind of represent that to me. You know, like that loss, you know, that the soul of like uh, the 60s and 70s, and your father <laughs> passed that on to you. And I, and I really did enjoy kind of sharing that with you, you know, and giving me a piece of that, because that's, that's what it felt like to me. Like we were a bunch of hippies going to, um, <laughs> to, 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 to some school and then coming to some retreat to skinny people. <laughs> so, so yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I hated your cooking, I hated your house, I hated your stinky. <laughs> Kids were a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Need a little balance. Need a lot. I I can't I can't put into words what it is. I can't say it because because the trueness of who you are and the love that you give to us and that you give to me. It can't be said to work I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. Um, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, it wasn't training. It was birthing. It was forging. It was strengthening. And knowing you even for years before that, you know, going into the, the training was just another level of love for me. And I can't thank you enough. I can't put it in words. So, just give you this. Hey, Miles. Hi. Um, so, uh, I was trained with Megan and uh, when the Berkeley house, and we lived there. And so it was empty. Um, where you would show up at like in the morning at the door, we'd let you in, and we'd train, and then you'd leave, and then Megan and I would. Like freak out and get my mask. And I can too. Um, so you, and also, you never cooked for me. <laughs> I think it's a myth. I think it's a myth. I have not tasted anything while today. So I actually ordered it all in. They just, just never there. Um, and I just remember distinctly uh, uh, for the training, you throwing unripe plums at me. <laughs> When I would get off the script or something, and then just like chucks fruit at me. It's so weird. Um, but I really appreciate you. Um, That's a nap joke. I appreciate you here at the tree. Um, like, if there's anything that I need, you're always there. You're always like, you good? You need anything? You need anything? You need anything? What do you need? You need anything? You're always there. Um, and you like show up, and you're a smoking buddy, and you're like, and it's great to just kind of sit and I'm not just sitting on a chair with you and watching the landscape. Breathing in the air and stuff. I really I like that. I really like that. Um, so it's like a treat button. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for all of that. Um, and yeah. thank you for making me feel welcome into Playfair. I have fond memories of your house. <laughs> it's lived in. It's warm. Thank you, because I had an, an experience um, like Takara, where I didn't really feel like I could do this. I didn't really think I wanted to. Instead of trying to learn the script, I would just make things up. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people back there can relate to that. <laughs> I continue to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you encouraged me. You never lashed me for doing that. 
and you encouraged me, and you laughed with me, and you were my friend, and you're still my friend. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me to play today. Yeah, you're Thanks for, for inviting me into this incredible family. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. um, I think you're, you're an amazing teacher. Because I know when I showed up on the first day of training, I didn't know. Well, I knew the, the hey, my name is Freddie, and this is <laughs> Playfair. And then when JW showed up, he knew the script. So, quit an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was nice getting to know you during the school during the year as a coworker, and meeting your amazing family, and um, training was that much easier. It was that much more fun um, because I also didn't know how well I might do because there are things that were like, a lot of things going on during training. You just encouraged us to do more. Food, man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I remember first initially doing this, and uh, you know, I'm like, I couldn't do it like most of us. And I felt like it wasn't ever like a teacher student thing, it was that, that part of it. But what you did was you immediately became a friend. And we would spend time drinking wine or <laughs> afterwards. And that was when you gave me the encouragement that I could do this. You know? And it was this immediate bond that I felt with you, that I felt with you since. Um, and I don't, I'm sure you don't need to hear this, but your bond within all of us has been diminished at all by the changing of your shape, by the changing of your body. And, uh, you might play for love. If you have to so submit it, step in your hats. And be some friends. And uh, when you're gone, this community misses you. When there's an hour, it's a day. So I want you to continue. Okay. Bless you. You know, after Jamila comes up, I'm going to ask you to jump in. Miles, I worked really hard for training so that I would do a good job. So that when I got there, you knew I was a professional. You knew that you could trust me. And I felt that all through training. And then I did my first show, and I forgot the line. And I was so and then I get off the stage and you're like, yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it just kind of let all that stress that I put on myself, the, the rigid, the rigidness, and then I was able to do the show because of that moment, because you said that. <laughs> And I just wanted to say, people talk about your cooking and the nourishment that you gave us, the literal nourishment, to really, I think what we're really talking about is the nourishment you gave us as people. Not as performers, as people who go out by ourselves and represent all of us. And I think at the end of the day, we're representing you. Is there anyone here who else has They just keep coming. It's kind of hard. You! <laughs> uh, Miles, what more can be said? I mean, you were basically a uh, parent. Uh, house, us, and then uh, 
Maddie, um, badass, trying to spank me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it? You did it. Okay. Um, Miles, I just want to say thank you uh, for, like it's been said, you know, going around the circle, for bringing me into this family in a way that made me feel excited and ready and just overall making me have a strong sense of self and the self that I bring to my show and letting me feel like that is enough, that I am capable and ready, even in the moments where, like, you feel like you really just are going to suck it up bad. Um, you really helped me to feel confident and calm and, like, I could really handle it. Whatever they were going to do, whatever I was going to do, it was going to go well. Even when we had to use loudspeakers and lawn chairs, we made it happen. And I'll never forget that. And so I'm just so appreciative of that because I think I'll be able to take that with me however long, wherever I go, that I can do it. Like, I am enough, and I'm, I can do it. So, I'm virtually hugging you. <laughs> <laughs> and... <yeah. laughs> when I was done with training, I felt like I was a warrior emerging victorious in battle. Like I just never ever thought that I could do job like this, ever. And I taught me and helped me realize my potential. I'm not there for me to be access to things that I have no idea lived in me. And that's such a beautiful gift. And I think I've told you this is like in case I haven't. When we were training, I thought I had to put on some kind of character, or I don't know what I was doing, but I was doing a lot of moving, and, and he just said, stop, <laughs> stop a lot of moving, and just talk to me, just talk to them, I just want to talk to, to you, and that, not whatever that is, and it was hard to hear, <laughs> and it was hard to hear, but I have kept that with me, because I think like Dina said, I have to learn that I'm enough, just me standing here talking like this, I'm enough, and, um, I think you turned me 18 years ago, Newton, is that right? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was trying to remember why didn't you cook for us? I was like, what? what? But it was because you didn't live in the house. And we were like staying in the office, like these little, I don't know, bandits. Like, <laughs> and we remember we snuck upstairs, and um, Matt's like speaking fees were posted. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was going to be your. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he was making miso soup every morning, and you know what was very calm? I was freaked out. When I looked at that, that script, and I was like, there's no way they expect us to know this. <laughs> but Newton, I think you were off book, and he was just very calm, and I was not calm at all. But what I want to say to you is that you've always delighted in me. Like you just, you can see, you can see me. And when you know, when I'm sometimes a wreck, 
Max, but you just you love who I am and I I'm not and I I'm not very articulate. Um but I I I feel like we just have a special connection and we've always like talked to the so like laughing him at retreat. Just thank you for that. And 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 through my journey of getting married and having kids, like I just feel I could feel from you like how good you thought I was gonna be as a wife and as a mother. <laughs> but you have such confidence in the love of your father. That was right. Yeah. Wow. I was sharing with Miles this morning, um, just what a great time of year it always was for me during the training, mainly because I got to spend so much time with him. And um, it was just a very, very, very sweet chapter in my life, time of the year. Yeah. So we kind of pledged that, even though we're not going to have that, we'll still keep reaching out to each other. So um, amazingly enough, in the 40 years, um, not Joe, it was Miles. Three trainers total. So, yeah. Just wanted to take a look at uh, Miles' little family tree here and imagine um, yourself in 10 years having a little tree like that for yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the roots are all here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> And um, you know, Miles brought you into Playfair, so I think the, the transition is very beautiful that it goes from him to you. And um, so Miles has a little um, little presentation, continuing the lineage from Nam Jell to him to you that he wants to do. And then um, I just would like you to stay here and just have uh, all of Miles' family just come give you a great hug, congratulations, and move on from here. Hey, uh, I don't know if you remember, um, in, uh, when I, uh, when uh, I took over for Nausea, um, I don't know if it was up at Whistler or when we were in the Redwoods, but um, as you know, Rituals are us tradition. Uh, Namdil had me out there, and he came up with this big sheath that had a big bow in it from a Zen archer. Zen archer's bow, and I've never seen this thing. He pulled out a bow, and my heart almost stopped. And uh, he didn't give me the book, <laughs> <laughs> but he gave me the sheath. And I don't know if any of you remember during the training at times it was over my window of the house. Sometimes it hung up on the curtain rod. Sometimes it was up on the floor. Um, but I always brought it out when the training came. It had a somewhat ripple of mine. And uh, it's just sort of a symbol of the chain of uh, trainers and uh, connecting with uh, that spirit of the Zen archer, I guess it is, or the Zen master, as Jinx to call me, Yoda. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I pass it on to you. <laughs> So talented. I, any one of you could be standing, and all of you have probably taught me more than I've taught you. And the perfect vessel to have to, to, to teach.
teach the new, the new breed, the new tribe. <laughs> okay, so why don't you stay up there for any and just let's put a line and everybody so that, be a quick hug of congratulations. Yeah, Rich. If I can suggest anything you passed, just for a minute, line up over here and then let me get a picture of Miles we've all trained. Okay, on. sounds good. Just the first five chairs across. Okay. And behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what are they supposed to do? It's just oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's say congratulations. That's all you need to say. That I said. She said I smelled good. For, um, thanks for being so patient, you guys. And um, we're going to have you on shortly. I'm going to turn this over to Luke in just a sec. Oh, wait, we want to oh. say hi. Oh. Hello? Oh, can you hear us? Yes. Fran, we wanted to say we love you, we too. We love you, Fran. And you're going to be amazing. Love you. Ah. We love you. Ah. I love you, Fran. I love you. 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 I love you
Love you yeah, all. Is it? I it's, know, it's, it's charging. So. <laughs> it's too much. Matt, I have to get off. <laughs> You have to get off soon? In like 10 to 15 minutes. In just a second when we go to the I have to go too, Matt. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, let's actually take a seat and um, let's continue with the uh, oral history, especially since I think our guests uh, on virtual guests might have to be uh, cutting out in a second. So anyway, let me uh, turn this over to Pookie. I don't know if you need this. Okay. Okay. So just checking in with you. Um, the three of you online, can you all, who needs to leave when? So we want to make sure we get you in. But if you want to, if you can stay till after three, we can keep on going. Or if you have to leave before, I'll make sure you're, you're settled in then. I have, to go by. I have to leave by three. Juliana? Jen okay. has to leave at three. I'm good to stay for until my baby wakes up. <laughs> okay, Juliana, you're good to stay. Who needs to leave by three? I do. Jen. Okay, Jen, great. And Dina, you're okay to stay a little I'll longer? I'll stay till like 3.10, 3.15. Okay, okay, great. So we'll start with Juliana, and then we'll go to Jen, and then we'll go to some of our people, and then we'll alternate back and forth. Okay, got that? Well, I think Dina had to go. Oh, so I should go because I have yeah, to go at 3, right? Go. I'll go first because Juliana can stay till I the baby stay. wakes up. Yeah, so Dina okay, should probably her. go before me. Okay, so Dina, Juliana, and then Jennifer. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll, we'll Jennifer, Dina, and Juliana. <laughs> Jennifer needs to go first. So Jennifer Who should go, go first? first. Who? Jennifer. Me. Me. Jennifer. <laughs> don't get Jennifer. Me. <laughs> then Dina. Right, Jen, then Dina. Then yes. Julie. Okay, got it. Okay, so just before we get started, this is for everybody. We'll get some of us. We'll just continue on through our cycle from the people who were supposed to be two o'clock. We'll just too close. On it's pretty close. <laughs> okay. So first of all, um, when you're speaking, you might want to say when you were touring with there, if you can remember when that was. For those of us who haven't been here for a long time. And um, so I will give you a one-minute signal. You'll hear me say one minute. Um, and then at the end of your time, I will carefully and beautifully say, that was beautiful, which was originated by Jerome, who you'll meet tomorrow. Okay? So, please, um, Dina, go ahead. Jennifer. Jennifer! Sorry, Jennifer, go ahead. <laughs> okay. This is such a mess. We're trying to get comfortable. Can you see us? <laughs> <laughs> We're not in bed together. We're just. It just looks like. It that. just looks like that. <clears throat> All right. Um, hi, everybody. Um, there's so many new faces there that I don't know, but there's so many faces there that I know and I love so much, and I miss you so much, and I wish that we were together. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to quickly say about my Playfair experience. Um, obviously, just so much. It's such. It's such a. Um, it's such an, in, you know, an indescribable thing, obviously, standing up in front of thousands of people and, like, them doing exactly what you want them to do, <laughs> almost, <laughs> which is cool. But you know what? Some of my best memories from Playfair were when I was by myself driving. Um, driving I remember driving through Nebraska by myself for, like, two hours, and I was on this road, and there was this, like, tornado coming toward me. <laughs> And then I was like driving through thunderstorm. It was traveling by myself around the country it was such an amazing thing for me to do. Uh, to and and then just meeting all these new people, and my favorite school ever, Barry, which I'll never forget. Just having that just delicious experience um, for an hour of just of just connecting with people and being like uh, just being by myself. And I think I appreciate it so much more now that I'm a mom and I'm never by myself <laughs> that I just think. 
oh God, I just wish that I was on a highway in Nebraska with a tornado coming towards me, <laughs> trying to escape it. I would give anything. <laughs> now I know Matt's going to ask me to do a show next year. <laughs> anyway, I loved Playfair. It was such like a pivotal part of my life, an amazing part, and I love it, and I love all of you. And uh, that's my story. <laughs> All right, so take it away, Dina. Okay. Um, so, Dina, year two, I'm sophomore. Um, my Playfair experience um, that kind of when I was thinking about what I wanted to share, it's a couple of things, but the main one was last year on the first year of tour, I had one really exhausting day where I had to get up in the morning, drive two hours to the first school, do a show, jump in the car, drive two, two and a half hours, do the second show, and then drive a couple hours back to the airport that night. And I was scared of it the whole way out. And so when we got to that day, by the time I got to the second show, I was a little stressed and tired, and I just was like, I don't have a lot in the tank. I don't know what's going to happen. And I just felt in that show, I really, for the first time yet on tour, gave over to the experience of it and the I really needed my assistance so much and I really needed the energy from the room and it was one of the I felt so great after that show and I love I was like in love with the kids and I was like hugging all the assistants and we had the best time and it just taught me to that I was holding on tight because I was afraid um, because it was year one and I was terrified. Um, but after that, I just felt this sense of like peace and calm, not the whole way through, but like little things here and there that made me feel more confident and more like, again, the sense of self that I was talking about with Miles. And the second part is just, I am so ridiculously grateful for this group of people. Because even with what we've done this year, whether it's subletting the apartment or getting to see Megan in New York or going to Emily's wedding soon, or like, it's so palpable as a part of our lives. And even though I'm not at retreat, like this is fucking blissful to get to talk to everyone and see everyone and I'm just reminded in my day-to-day -day life when I tell people about this that is a, it is a unique and special unit and family to be a part of. And so now I'm ready for year two, and that's my Playfair story. Drop the mic. I have to go, so I, and I have to go because I have to go to show, but I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay, uh, so I have two pretty brief stories. The first one was in liberal Kansas at a community college where I show up and there's, you know, the door into the gym has a sign on it, like one of those no, not allowed, like the circle with the line through it, and it has a gun in it. Like, no guns in the gym, please. <laughs> I think Chris now does that show. Thank God. Um, so I'm like, oh, this, this may not be my people. I do, I do the girls' Christian schools. Um, so I go, and it's a terrible, terrible show. I can't believe they came back. And thank God Chris has, I think, taken them over. Um, but, <laughs> but... I go to the airport and I have time to kill and it is literally the tiniest airport you've ever seen. There is one person at working at the <laughs> airport. There is a one person airport. So I go and I have all this time to kill at this one person airport, which does not have a lot of like stores and things to interest yourself with. So I'm really starving. And I ask the guy, um, you know, if there's anything nearby that I could walk to, I didn't have a car. Um, and he was like, well, you could order a pizza. And I was like, no, I don't really want to, you know, order a pizza. I was like, and he's like, what do you want? I said, well, just like a sandwich, you know, like a turkey sandwich or something would be great. So he takes out his car keys and he says, here, take my car and drive <laughs> to my house and have my wife make you a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> <And that's> like, <laughs> for me, 
like completely encapsulates why I love Playfair, that you get to kind of go and see these tiny pockets of the world and corners of the world that I would never, ever find myself in. And I just love getting to kind of experience humanity and the world in that way. Um, And then the other story that I wanted to mention was uh, a few years ago, we did a retreat wide werewolf, like it was going on all the time. (laughs) Um, And and Mark Gessner, who sadly is not there, uh, and a lot of you newbies might not know, but he's an amazing human being. He was the werewolf. And Chris, who I also trained with, was convinced that he was the werewolf and no one else was. And there was this huge showdown in the dining room of Mark and Chris just like going (laughs) screaming at each other trying to convince us one way or the other and it just like those I mean that and Gio that's who I did training with like the people there just such humor such passion (laughs) such commitment no matter what like uh it's just been such a pleasure to get to know everyone uh there and be a part of the Playfair family and that's that's all I gotta say. That was beautiful. <laughs> I love you, Chris. I miss you. Bye, you guys. Oh, Jim. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. All right, I'm going back on mute. Okay, Alex. Yes, you're up next. Three minutes. Three minutes. I'll tell you after you do that. All right. Uh, so, excuse me. Thank you. So, um, I was uh, I was sitting back uh, trying to think. I loved it. I was sitting back trying to think about um, um, stories. And at first, I was like, I can't think of anything. And then, like, a lot of them started coming to me. So. Uh, there was one I was talking about this morning um, when I had to do the school. I had to do it this year, actually. Again, it's called Alverson uh, Brodus in West Virginia. And um, I put this thing, I had to drive like a, you know, a, a, good, a good while. I, I wasn't flying in, I was, I was driving there. And I put it into the GPS. And I promise you, the GPS was like, yeah, where is that? You know what I mean? Like it did. It, it, it was like a question mark, and I was like, "Okay, so I got to figure this out." So I'm, I'm driving. I think I'm going to the right place, and I, you know, I, I realized that, like, you know, I get off, and so uh, I go into someone's driveway, and then there's two. I promise you, there's these two white Appalachian dudes in like, you know, overalls, and one has a pitchfork, and they're like. No. I'm like, oh no. And, and they're like, they're like. So you know, I was yeah, I have a lecture with those. Yeah. So I was like, so, so I put the window down a little bit. And they're like, they're like, yeah, you seem like you lost. You're not around from these parts. And I was like, I was like, no. It was like, it literally was like a movie. But they were cool as hell. They took me to the gas station, got me a drink. You know, they were like, yeah, you know, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, they're like, um, we'll go ahead, we'll, 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 we'll tell you how to get there. Like, no, nah, you know, you better, he looked lost. You, you better go ahead and just like, you know, drive him all the way there. So they, they drove me to school. And then I was like, I was right, like about to get to the exit. And there was this huge, huge accident. And we are on, again, you know, in, in West Virginia, when you're on the, you know, in the mountains, there's no detours. Because you're, you're on the mountains. So I had to turn all the way back around and get around there. And I eventually got to the school and I was like, they, but they loved me for whatever reason. They asked for me back. So uh, that's the one story. And the second story, okay. well, the second story is um, during a hurricane, not Sandy, the one that was a bitch, bitch made one. What was that one? Eileen, Eileen, yeah. yeah. Um, I, um, La- Lakeisha and I were like, look, we ain't staying on the hurricane. So I was supposed to do something in Wooster, and uh, and Calispo was as well. So we drove all the way out there like 5 a.m. to like you know miss Eileen. It turns out Eileen was nothing. Actually, when we drove, it was actually a little bit worse. So uh, we get there, and my father he went to I mean, he came from Nigeria. He came to Wooster first. He he studied there. So I would call him, and he'd be like, and he would be like, oh. 
oh, I used to be right there. You know, he would just tell me where he was at and booster and everything. And like the best thing happened, me and uh, like, it, was, it was really cool. And me, I remember this one time me and Lakeisha were walking by this like nail salon and there was just like, you know, like middle-aged ladies out there. They're like, like oh, you're looking at Lakeisha like, oh girl, I wish I had your face. And they're like, and your legs. And I walked by and I was like, and your man. And I was like, <laughs> How truly beautiful was that? Takara. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, what am I saying? No, get closer. Oh, closer. Okay. I don't know. Okay, is that good? Sort of. Um, so I have two brief stories. Um, first story is. <laughs> Our training, or not our training, but our first retreat, Bjorn and I's very first retreat was on a cruise. Um, the cruise that, the Playfair cruise that we went on uh, that took us to Mexico and came back. And I wanted to enjoy this cruise so much because it was my first cruise. I was like, I've never been on a cruise before. I'm so excited. I'm about to get on a cruise, bring my swimsuit, chill out, max out. But then I got to the boat, and Keisha and Alex were like, so y'all gonna have to do the show. And we were like, well, not we. I was like, what? But Jordan was like, man, they ain't gonna make us do that. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no. I was like, BJ, we can't like, when everybody's doing the fun stuff, we need to be practicing. We can't be like, you know, just playing around. They're gonna make us do the show. And he was like, man, fuck it. They ain't doing it. Let's do the show. And I was so, I was like, then I started, I was like, well, maybe, for Sean's right, maybe they, they're just kind of joking around. We're not going to have to do the whole show. But Keisha and Alex were so committed. So every day they would come at breakfast, they'd be like, y'all been practicing? And we, I was like, I was like, I told you we need to be practicing. Be like, and every time I would come, I'm like, we need to be practicing. Everybody makes a show. He was like, man, they ain't making us do that. <laughs> like, that was his refrain. The entire cruise is either he would say, man, they ain't making us do that shit. <laughs> or he would say, man, F that shit. They ain't making us do that. <laughs> and so it got to the day where I thought we were going to have to do it. We were all in that, in that conference room that was on the boat. And I was like, I was so, thank you. I was so nervous, like, oh my God. And it ended up being just like this, you know, a big love fest, like we do here. And, and everybody just kind of, you know, when we had our applause, just everyone standing behind us. And I was so relieved. And Bajor came to behind me after it was out on. He was like, see, I told you. We're gonna make <laughs> um, second story real quick, so I know I'm under a minute. Um, the show that I just did earlier this, uh, earlier this month, I, there was a bomb threat on the plane that I was on in Charlottesville, Virginia. Who wants to bomb Charlottesville, Virginia? But there was a bomb threat. I, in order to make my show, I had to rent a car in my layover in Philadelphia and drive four and a half hours. I got to the school just in time to hop out the car, go use the bathroom, and run on stage. Wow. And the school has, was so, so grateful. And I had never really felt so just fulfilled by what we do because that they kept calling me Superwoman and Wonder Woman on stage. And they were so grateful. And I was like, wow, what we do is special. That is just beautiful. Yeah. No, it's okay. Well, let me just mention that they actually called and rebooked the show the very next day after she did Next is, uh, next up is Rico. Oh, okay. <laughs> How's it going? I'm Rico. So this is Playfair, huh? All right. Yeah, I don't have any stories yet, but I'm excited to greet some of you guys. Um, 
Now, what, what I've noticed so far is, Benito told me about this organization, so for those of you who don't know, that's how I came in through Benito Martinez, and he was like, hey, Rico, you should check this out, man, you know? What are you doing this summer? I'm like, oh, hopefully working. Yeah. Hopefully, if I book a job, but I got nothing. He's like, um, you should get in touch with Playfair. Let me hook you up with Matt and see if you, you'll be a perfect fit for it. I'm like, all right, cool, man. What, what's Playfair? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, you're going to go to school. So you're just going to talk to the kids. You're going to make them have fun. You're going to do this really cool thing with a lot of uh, really cool people. Some are hippies, but, you know, they're really, really cool pink people. <laughs> and I was like, does it pay? I'll do it. All right, cool. So then he signed me up, and I was like, once I started, I was like, oh, my God. And I'm glad that I'm hearing everybody say that they were so nervous when they got that book, that booklet of 42 pages. Because yeah. I thought the same thing. I'm like, I'm an actor, but whoa, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah. Um, and working with Fran, she was so supportive. Actually, I kind of realized some things about myself. I'm confident with, when it comes to certain things. I do production, got it. Acting, got it. This presenting, this Playfair show, got me nervous. Yeah, to the point where I did my first show, that, that test show, and I forgot who said it, but they went blank. Yeah. 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 Dude, I had it in the car, in the car. I was like, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, what, which one? I got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just spit them out, spit them out. I got on stage. I said, hey, everybody, my name is Rico, and uh, welcome to play. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part, oh, and I told this to my friends, it's a joke. I'm like, dude, you wouldn't believe it. It's like a movie. It's like, yeah, okay, and this friend told me what's next, and I was like, what did you say? Lexi was saying, she's like, Rico, she said this. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, cool. You want to do this? <laughs> I felt horrible, and just like you, dude, I, I left, and I was like, man, I don't know if this is for me. Oh, God, this is hard. I feel like crap. Thank you. Uh, Matt and Fran took me to Applebee's. They said, that's going to be the spot that I'm going to do all the time. And they're like, it's okay. It's cool. Just, just be yourself. Just have fun. The next morning, we had another show at another school at 8 in the morning. Some crazy time. We got into the hotel. Like 11. 11? Oh, I, I don't know why I feel like I woke up so early. And I just went in there, and I had a blast. Actually, no. The reason I did well was because Fran actually saw that I was depending on her on that first show. So she left. Just left me. I turned around. I was like, yeah, Fran. Hey, where's Fran? <laughs> She's like, she left. Fran's way away. I'm like, oh, Shit. This is my show now. All right. So I was like, all right, all right, everybody, let's just do this. Man, I had a blast. I had an awesome time. Now I'm excited to start Playfair this year, so I'm really, really excited. And thank you guys for welcoming me. Yeah. Newton. Um, uh, some memories and stuff about um, Playfair and Retreat and all this stuff. Um, being here back at my commas is so interesting to me. Um, I remember it was my second year uh, that we were, that I was first here at my commas. My first year was up at Whistler uh, in Canada. That was my first experience with Retreat. And so my commas was totally new. It was a new environment. And there was a snafu with rooming. Um, so we finished our evening session and I didn't have a room. So it was like a weird thing. Um, and I ended up feeling still like, oh, I don't know these people. I didn't feel comfortable enough to be like, hey guys, I don't have a room. So I just went around um, searching for open doors and discovered the A-frames. That's how I discovered an A-frame that was unlocked. And I went in and I was like, okay, yeah, I can, I can live in this little, little uh, cabin. Um, and still with the stress of like retreat, I was in second year and I was still feeling like nervous about like what's going on and who, do, who are these strangers and people that have, you know, they're so intense and they love each other and they're like, ugh, it's a little too much love right now, I just need to kind of go. So I would retreat back into, I would retreat from retreat into my A-frame and um, ended up going like with my boom box and my Christmas lights and decorations decorated this little thing, and I don't know who started it, but somebody, like we were finished, and uh, you know, I was packing my A-frame, listening to music, had my lights on, going on, and then somebody walked by, walked by again, and like came in, and just sat down, and I was like, okay, okay, cool. Somebody else walked by, and came in, and sat down, and then some more people walked by, 
and came in and sat down. And soon this tiny A-frame, like everybody was in the A-frame. And I was like, what's going on? They're like, oh, the party's here. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And it became known as the Love Shack. And we had some fun times there. Um, we had the airplane oh, experience. Miles in the airplane. Miles in the airplane. And uh, Nina as the, uh, the, the flight attendant, which was a lot of fun. Um, and those memories are, are, are interesting and great for my comments. I miss the A-frames. Those are beautiful. Thank you. Those are beautiful um, little cabins that they got there. But the A-frames, there's something rustic and something, uh, uh, it's a good memory for me. Another quick thing. Um, on tour, I have not celebrated a birthday in the same city for the past 18 years. So it's a weird thing to, it's strange. Like, I don't know how old I am. Like, when people say, like, how old are you? I just don't know because I haven't celebrated it. Like on the 19th of August, I'm always somewhere else. Um, I've celebrated it with, you know, hundreds of freshmen. Who I've made them sing happy birthday to me um, <gasps> and stuff like that. So that's kind of wild. And um, at the same time, fun. I wish in hindsight that I had uh, videoed myself on my birthday, you know, over the years. Because now I would have 18, 18 oh, years yeah. Yeah. of that, video. It would have been so beautiful. It would have been so beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Um, so I'm from Canada, and I was trained by the master hippie himself, uh, Mr. Nandrel. Nandrel. And so I think the training with him really hit something for me because I'm definitely a hippie at heart. And um, when I came into the retreat, I was kind of nervous because I was the only Canadian coming to this retreat last year for the first time. So then I come in and they're like, oh, doing all these, like, let's talk, you know, tell me about yourself. And we're sitting and switching places. And I'm like, okay, I can get with this. And then um, we do this one exercise where uh, we have to look into each other's eyes, hold each other's hands, and you say, I'm ready to be seen. And then the other person looks back at you and says, I see you. And uh, it was actually Miles, who was that person uh, across from me. And at one moment, like, just that feeling that somebody sees me, and I was there, and I was perfectly at the right place at the right time to really receive that, finally receive that, I broke into tears. Like, I, I was like, excuse me, I'll be right back. And I couldn't come back into the, into the exercise because, I mean, for so long, I think a lot of us as artists, we're always like striving. We're like, maybe this is going to be the gig. This is going to be the gig. So I been as a soloist, just kind of like going for something. And then finally, when somebody said, you should really check out Playfair. And I, I kind of have this thing against organizations or institutions, like I could do it myself. That when I stepped into that room and I saw everybody else as well as the beautiful artists and gifts, that they are, I finally felt accepted, like fully accepted for what I'm here for. And then that retreat by far has like exploded my ability as a pers person of purpose in this world. And then I think I even mentioned that at the end of the retreat, I, I see us like at the retreat, like building up all this amazing energy, like lava, and then we like, Ooh, and like a whole bunch of clowns all over North America spreading joy and laughter everywhere. So with that vision, I've kept that alive, like knowing each and every one of you guys are like huge fires that just like ignite North America for a duration of like a month or less. And, um, and then so when it really tripped me out, I did like a thousand person show in uh, Trent, Northern California, Canada, and I'm seeing thousands of people on this field, and I'm going, oh my God, this is, this is the dream that I had 11 years ago that got me out of the corporate world, that I never knew why I was talking to thousands of people in that dream. So then now I'm like, holy shit, it's here! <laughs> So that, by far, is like the ultimate, ultimate dream. So thank you so much. <laughs>
If you guys can hear me, I have to go, Pookie. I have to go. Bye. I love you guys. See you later. Otter. Um, hi. Okay, so, uh, um, what Matt said at the beginning about, like, the retreat needs to be a way for us to build community because what we're doing for the students is offering them the possibility that they could be a community. So we have to know what that is. Uh, that's become uh, the key thing for me because I don't do a tour anymore, but I come to the retreat and I support you and Matt and myself in creating a retreat that will actually do that. And I think about this all the time. In fact, because of Playfair, I got into a career that is about thinking about groups and how groups work. So last year I went to a conference um, run by a guy from the Harvard School of Education about deliberately developmental organizations. And this is like the new thing, a, one of the millions of new things, but it's about organizations that treat people like a whole person and give everybody an opportunity at work to get 100% feedback 100% of the time so that they can grow and be 100% present. And the whole time I was going like, yep, play fair, yep, play fair, yep, play fair. And, and it's organic, but it's also been, like with human organic art, you have to nurture it, you have to fertilize it. And that's what Matt and Pookie and Namjel and Rich and me and all of you are doing. The minute you get in, you become part of the fertilizer for this by being your authentic selves. And so some of my best memories are my least favorite memories of times when we've had to work through issues. And sometimes we worked through them in the whole group and it was excruciating and some people ran from it. And sometimes we were working behind the scenes all the time to support each other through our hard emotional moments because this work requires that we be 100% human. Because if we're not, we can't say to those students, sit on each other's laps. We can't do it unless we can say, bring your whole self, bring your whole self. So we're all bringing our whole selves. And so the reason, I mean, okay, so the reason I think that uh, the other piece of this, which is I think is why this is a completely unique example of a deliberately developmental organization, is because what we come home to, our happiness, is our playfulness and creativity. And this goes back to the very beginning. And so once upon a time, a long time ago, in this place, down at the pool, all of a sudden, through no real planning, all the women were in the pool singing. And all the men were hanging around outside of the water. And the women were singing, be my, be my baby. <laughs> and then that song finished. And then we started singing, to know, know, know him is to love, love, love him. I do, yes, I do. And the harmonies and everything. And so the guys were like, whoa. And so they started singing, I guess you'd say, what can they be? <laughs> My girl. And then the women started singing, let's hear it for the boy. <laughs> and, then, and then the men, I don't know why, started singing, you, I, you've lost that love and feeling. And the women went, hit the road, Jack. <laughs> and then the men went, um, ooh, ooh, watch out boys, because here she's come, she's a man eater. And there was this antagonism. And then um, and then when the women sang, what's love got to do with it, got to do with it? And then, uh, the, then the men were like, I want to know what love is. <laughs> and it started to come back from the antagonism. And then the women said, I will always love you. And the men joined in. And the men who were both singing, and then the last one, I just called to say, I love you. And we went to there, and we were all singing together. And it was fucking stunning. And the level of talent in this group goes up because we're, we, we say yes and, yes and, yes and to each other constantly. So and that's why I love it. There are 
few memories. The, um, let's talk about the, the, the bad one. I did my worst show so far was this West Virginia show where we had six half hour play, play fairs back to back, or like play fair, and then six half hour. It was just insane. We were at the school for eight hours setting up and sound. It was just, it was a nightmare. I was exhausted by the end of it. And it was just, I failed. It sucked. Every single thing I did just sucked. The kids were awful. I was awful. They, they were right in my face with all of their judgment. And it, it, was, it was, it was, it was, it was, I felt so defeated. I felt so defeated after. And then after it was done, I had maybe a three or four hour drive to somewhere. And the only rental car in whatever company I rented from was this huge like eight to 10 person van. So it was like rows of seats and me <laughs> driving this huge van after this, horrible, <laughs> after this horrible show, but it had, um, it had satellite radio, or serious radio. I was excited about that. And there was a 1920s station and I love music from the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and I put that on, and I listened to that station. I didn't touch it. I'm so ADD. I switched the channel every five seconds, but I left it on for three hours, and that music and the experience, I was able to let it, let it go, and I think that was more of a triumph, that letting go, than a successful show. Yeah. It was so hard to leave that, yeah. Yeah. and then go on, and do another show right after that. So that's one memory. Um, last year I was in Wisconsin and there was this horrible lightning storm and it was just wide open sky, flat, line, flat land, and just this lightning was like nothing I had seen. And it was pouring, 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 and I couldn't, I couldn't drive. So uh, I saw this like little building, it was closed with a gate and the gate was open. So I drove in there and I parked and it, it, the rain was not letting up. And so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my eyes and take a little nap and wait for the rain to stop. And I think I was there for maybe half an hour and I was almost asleep and then I hear beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. Woke up, the, the gate is closing. So I had to decide, <laughs> do I floor it and potentially ruin this car or do I wait here and then what, call the police? Like what's my plan to get out of this gate? And so I, norm, I'm surprised I made the decision that I did, but just floor the car and scream it. <laughs> and I made it by, I think, inches. But I made it and I took a risk. <laughs> All right, um, okay, you know, this is my third year here. Sitting here today, I really feel like I'm only scratching the surface of what this organization is and what it means to me, and it just, it hit me when uh, we were talking to Miles, how, how much, um, it's come to, to mean to me. Um, this is the story that I want to tell. Last year, I went to New Mexico State and Las Cruces. We were talking about that soul. And uh, I think that Matt emailed me because there was a student who had special physical needs who was going to be coming to the show. Um, so we emailed back. Uh, I made sure to, to tailor the show to this person. When I got there, I saw him, and he was, he had a walker, he was, uh, he was like hunched over, he had a physical ailment. I think it, it might have been um, multiple scler sclerosis, I'm not sure what it was, but as we were, uh, <clears throat> he had long hair, he's not someone who people would talk to. He had long fingernails, long hair. 
he didn't smell the best. And we were doing this, you know, the thing where you're in the circle and everyone crosses the circle. Uh, and he fell over. He fell. But he wasn't really on the ground for very long because people came and they helped him up. And people included him. And people played with him. And I think that that was an important experience, not just for him, but for me, about what the heart of what goes on here really is. And it's inclusion. And it's including people who may not feel included. And it's, it's keeping our eye out for who's on the margins. And that told me a lot of what I need to know. Next up is Saul. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Playfair Memories in three minutes. Okay, so Playfair um, has been a family, has been a uh, a lot of friendships, has been an organization, a company, has been a business, but ultimately has just been nothing but a bunch of people in, with, in love with each other and in love with what they're doing. Um, which is really great because then you go out and you spread all that love and then all the students love each other and then we all just love each other. It's just so great. Um, so one play I remember that I have was um, a kid died and I actually saved his life. No, I just don't know. I didn't know how to follow him. It's a lot. Okay, anyway, um, you know, the thing was is, is they were funny, it's, it's funny because the two things that I did want to say the most, both of you <laughs> took them. Uh, I wanted to mention Benito, um, because Benito I knew for years before Playfair, and for years uh, we would work together in ETC, and Fran knows that uh, uh, we were in ETC together, and then um, all of a sudden, like, Benito would just disappear, and Fran would just disappear, and, I, and I'd call her, I'd, you know, we tried to visit or whatever, and they were just gone. And then they'd come back thinner, <laughs> you know, <laughs> tired, <laughs> and like really sick looking. And go, where did you guys go? <laughs> play fair. Oh, it's play fair. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, wow, okay, sounds like fun. And then, then like we would work a little bit more, and the next thing you know, a whole year would go by, and then they'd go, we're going to play fair. We're going to play fair. We're going to go to play fair. What's oh, play fair? I'll oh, play fair. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then they disappear again. And, then, and finally, Benito answered the question, and he finally brought me into this this great group. Um, and then the funny thing was, is I did one year. Um, I did not know if that funny, but um, I did uh, BYU, which was a Benito show for a long time. And uh, at first, I was a little, I was really nervous. Thank you. I was really nervous, and I thought, okay, how am I going to stand in front of um, BYU? Because, I mean, like, they're Mormons, you know? Are Mormons cool? You know? Because they got to touch each other and stuff, and, and it'd be really weird. And he, he encouraged me, he worked with me, he, he helped me, he said, they're going to be great, everything's going to be great. And there I was on a stage, standing in front of, I think it was three to 5,000 people, going, how am I going to control this group? But from beginning to end, it was amazing, and and it worked, and everything was great. And I can't believe that Mormons can party like that. I think they were really cool. Uh, last thing was I wanted to mention Miles and the and the A frame and the airplane. I mean, every day for the rest of our lives, I want that back. And but if it's just a memory, but I want it back so much. So thanks. <laughs> Megan. Oh, okay. I thought okay. I The first memory I want to tell, which got a lot of traction years ago, but I don't think a lot of people have heard it. <laughs> <laughs> 
was, um, I think it was my second year, and I was in Nebraska, and I used to jog a lot, and it was back when we had um, Walkman. Walk, had a Walkman. <laughs> and I had a Billy Joel tape in it. And I was listening to it loud, and I was running. And then all of a sudden, I felt this sharp pain in my calf. And I looked down, and there's this like black, ferocious dog. <laughs> and I didn't hear it because I was listening to it. We didn't start the fire. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just going to I take out the headphones and I'm like, what the? And, and then he runs away and disappears. And I didn't know what to do. And so I go back to my hotel and I'm like, I just got bit by the dog. And it was bleeding. It was, it was broke the skin. And she was like, oh, you got to find the dog. You got to find the dog because it might have rabies. So I go, uh, I, she took me to the police, I was at the police station, and the police officer took me out in the car, we went searching for the dog, and we did not find the dog, and so I'm like, I gotta go do this show, so I go to the show, and then after the show, I think I talked to Matt, and I went to the emergency room after the show at like midnight, and they gave me the rabies shot in my thighs, I had two shots in my thighs, but rabies shots are a series of shots you have to take over days. So I got a cooler and they gave me the medication and I put it in the cooler and I had to take it with me on the plane and go to Iowa. I did another show in Iowa and then went to a clinic and then they gave me the shots there. And then a few days later I had to get more shots and then I ended up taking it. <laughs> crazy. It was crazy, but I was like, I was like, do I really need to get the rabies shots? My mom was like, get the rabies shots. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that was that was um, that happened. My second year. <laughs> um, and then another thing I want to talk about uh, that Lynette was saying about being on my own is I learned how to travel by myself. Like I would go, I went, I used to go to this school and I would go visit Gettysburg when, it, when I was there, like by myself. And it was so inspiring. And I'd go to Boston and walk the Freedom Trail. And I never would have done those things, you know, on my own. And, um, um, what was, oh gosh, there was one more thing I was going to share, um, and I don't remember what it is. Wait, let me just see if it'll come. I stand here. <laughs> or I can come back. Well, and, and I, I had an amazing fertility ritual, which, which I did not want to do. I was terrified of it. And all the women that did it, I'd never met before because it was all new people coming in to play fair, and it was the most beautiful beautiful thing and it, and it really um it just cemented some of my relationships in here and it's just a this whole organization is a huge lesson in taking risks huge risks and so much insecurity comes up and so much resistance and then ultimately it works out beautifully beautifully <laughs> Meet Lexi. Okay. I was like, I'm first year. What am I going to say? But like, I can talk forever, so I, I guess I'm not here. <laughs> um, so, I, for, I was, as I was here, like, listening to everybody, like, I realized, like, Fran had said earlier, that like, I had a little resistance, I think, when I, when I started. And I think, because I, I just am the type of person, I keep myself way too busy all the time. And I'm like always too stressed out and spread out all over the place. And so when I was like, oh, do I really want to take on something again? Like, I, I don't know, if, like the balance between saying yes in my life and starting to learn to say no. And, and so I, I was like not sure. And, and, I was so all, and I was so all over the place during training. And I, I'm, I'm finally feeling like I'm here. And I'm, I'm so... Half thankful that you've been so patient to let me get here because it's taken a while. Um, and then, and so much about training like that that I keep coming back to is that like this show is harder because it's you. It's not a character for those of us that are actors. Like it, it is totally you. And and I'm like, who is that? Um, just like try, <laughs> trying to get there. And and one and it's such a silly little memory from our training, but I just remember like Rico and I think both had this thing of like this is what a what a Playfair person sounds like. And like this is what the script is like, We got there and we so we were both like in this like you know trying not to be ourselves thing and like the first little like moment that came out of Rico that like is so little but it just like makes me so happy thinking about it was. Um, the line in the script that says, you know, it's our, our um, 
different our differences that you know make us strong, but it's our, our what we have in common that binds us together. And you're saying that line, and then he just goes, binds us together like glue. <laughs> and he like, <laughs> had this little like chuckle that he has, and it's so precious, and it's so his personality, and it like it, he showed out, and then Fran was like, that's it. Like, and so. <laughs> So it's just like that finding those little moments that like show me who I am. Somebody wrote it in the book that I was looking at. I, I don't know. Somebody wrote to Matt. It says, I, I'm so glad that I met you because I found me. I don't know who wrote that in the book, but I read that and I was like, that's it. That's that's why I'm here is, is finding me. So um, I, I don't know if I have another minute. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I'm, so I'm excited to, to be here and to, to find me and, and the more I'm here, the more I'm like, yes, I'm in the right place. And, and the whole time commitment thing, I was like nervous and resistant, like people are in this for 20 years, like I don't know what my life is going to look like for the next 20 years. And now I'm here and I'm thinking like, how could I ever not come back? So. Next is Darian. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, I know this is totally not Toastmasters, um, 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 but, uh, I guess I'm trying to think about some overall framework for this, but it's just going to be three minutes of some BS stream consciousness. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that I do love about Playfair and this are, uh, the surprises as witnessed today for, or yesterday for Matt and for Miles and, and even going back to my first year, Tanqueray and two snaps, um, and um, and even for my my group working on our project last year. So you know, everything people know what that is, and other people know what things are once things happen. Um, secondly, um, you know, I I don't know. I'm I'm such a I'm such a like individualist, and like you know, Megan and and Lexi were talking about resistance and. You know, I'm resistor in chief, like any situation I'm in. It's like, even if I agree with it, I'm like, you know what? Mm, like, you know, this is going to be, I don't know about that. Um, and that's always me. And so when I came into this situation, Megan Paul brought me in, and she was like, oh, you're going to be going off on tours by yourself. And I'm like, great, it's me. And I'm going to be fine. I'm going to do it myself. And I'm going to be good. And I'm going to be this and that. And they're like, oh, well, you have to go to this retreat. And I'm like, oh. like a retreat. And like, and like you know, it's kind of touchy, really handsy, handsy. And I was like, oh. Um, and I get here first year, and like initially, I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah. And everybody's coming in, and people start to cry like they won. And like, you know, like within the first hour, somebody was crying. I'm just like, I don't know. What you know. And it's, you know, it's a family, and like maybe it's a family, but you're not really my family. And so like, brain me was just kind of being like this. Um, but you know, as the years have gone, the, I guess the three years have gone by. You know, first year was first year. Last year, I didn't come. Um, and to be honest, I didn't realize how much like I missed being with this group. Um, you know, we all go off and do our own separate thing every year. And, you know, people, you know, little issues pop up, this pops up, this pops up. But I can say from like day one and even from meeting Matt, um, that the amount of love that we put into everything that we do for each other with the surprises that we do and with, 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 with making sure that people feel supported, um, you know, first years, you'll figure that out later. And, and all the stuff that we do to like make sure that we all feel supported and feel together um, has really, uh, I don't know, really touched me in a way that I didn't think would actually touch me. Because again, I'm, I'm hey, it's nice to see y'all at the retreat, bye, um, usually. And for this group, it has been very much so, I feel um, the connection and the connection to the group. Um, so I'll stop there um, before I like start crying or something because I don't cry in public. And, uh, <laughs> and yes, yeah, so I just want to say that, that that's what I appreciate. So thank you so much. Thanks, Jerry. So we have time for one more. Lane, can, and you can know you're scheduled for tomorrow. I know, but would you? Are you ready? We could do. Okay, so <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Jen. Jen, are you ready? Oh, I don't want to go to the garage. Okay, Freddie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, just in, in listening to people, um, I would say that.
uh, Playfair transforms people. I think that's one of the reasons why all of us are attracted to it. Um, I remember meeting Miles. I was uh, when I got introduced to Playfair. I was teaching PE at the elementary school where Miles was sending his kids. And so, like halfway through the year, there's this one class. I'm like bad kids. Like they're bad. Like this one kid. I mean, this, they're bad. Anyway. Um, <laughs> And when I say bad, I mean there, there, there were a lot of very, very complex issues that was keeping them from doing well in school, in his class. And the teacher wasn't very good. So um, every single PE session was a struggle. So Miles gives me this book, um, Playfair on the front. It was from the 1980s. And um, all, and, he was, and he, he, entered, he was like, yeah, this is a program that I'm a part of. It's all about community building. So there's this one game called Three Positions. Looked at it, got it down. I want to try something new with this particular class. Um, and um, they did it, and these kids were like hugging each other and like cheering together. I mean, it was, it, you had to have seen the before and the after to really feel the kind of differences that this activity made in them, which was amazing. The other story that I wanted to share was. Um, I flew into Louisiana the year of Katrina, and my show was at the University of Louisiana at Shreveport, and so a lot of people, a lot of people were coming into Shreveport who had lost their homes, and I mean, there was a lot, a lot of activity, and flying in was, was crazy too, because you're sitting there watching the news reports about how Katrina is moving from Louisiana to Mississippi, and my plane's supposed to go up into the air. So fortunately, actually, that, that one year, I'd been on a ton of airplanes, a lot of turbulence. So we're on this airplane, and I passed out. And I remember waking up, and like, the plane was shaking. The pilot was like, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn on the seatbelt sign because we've got a little bit of turbulence. Oh, and by the way, if you look out the left side of the plane, that is Hurricane Katrina. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, actually, I mean, it was beautiful, actually. It, was, it looked great. It was like this, wow. this bed of dark clouds and all these bright clouds were, it looked like the ocean in the sky. Wow. It was a huge wave in the sky, it was, it was incredible. And then you get down, I got into the hotel, and there were, the hotel was packed full of people who were looking for their loved ones and their pets and all this other stuff. Yeah. So, so the, the situation I walked into was very, very intense, got to the school and you could, and there were, you got on the campus and you could hear all these, these animals barking from people who had retrieved animals and were bringing them to the campus. And so the, 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 the mood was very, very heavy. Anyway, got in there and did the show, and the students couldn't have been happier. Um, I got a lot of hugs. Um, yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was an amazing experience. So it was definitely beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Bruce. OK. Yay. So we're going to continue with, continue with these uh, tomorrow at two, and there were a couple of people who were scheduled to be on. I should take a look. Said she was confused. She said, "Should I come on now?" She's waiting for you. I'm about to say yes. Uh, um, and Namjel and Mahara too. I Namjel wrote saying he was watching it on YouTube and enjoying it, but he didn't quite get it. He can come in and participate. So. Um, yeah, there's two viewers on there now. I'm not sure who they are, but okay. Whoever's viewing, goodbye. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at 2 o'clock.